most of the people, I mean, we have a lot of churches in, in Sri Lanka, especially. Uh, and we have, uh, most of these churches have people with different, different gifts. So what are those gifts that a church would, you know, indefinite would have? What are those, uh, you know, uh, titles or the gifts from God, let's say? Yeah. Uh, when Jesus said that he uh, built his church, he said, uh, I will build my church. Right. So okay. it's not anybody's church. The church has to belong to Jesus. He is the master of the church. He is the teacher and the master, the savior of the church. So he, uh, Jesus said he will build, like, I will build my church. That's what he said. Uh, and when it came, when, when uh, he died on the cross, the book of Ephesians says that his body was laid in the tomb, but his spirit did some traveling, right? He went to the lowest parts of the world, earth. And the Bible says he took captivity captive and gave gifts to men, right? He took captivity captive and gave gifts to men. Okay, That means that the, the person who was holding people captive, right? that was Satan himself, mm -hmm. Jesus took him captive okay. right? and then gave gifts to men to continue his work. Okay. To ch the church. Men means church. church. What he did was, in Ephesians chapter 4 verse 9, 9 onwards, if you read that, you will find that. And Ephesians chapter 4 verse 11, it says that he gave some to be apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors and teachers. These are gifts, not titles earned by anyone. Okay. Gifts given by Jesus himself through the Holy Spirit. Okay. So the, these gifts are operated through the Holy Spirit, given by God, Jesus, okay, to the church. And Ephesians chapter 4 verse 12 says uh, that these were given for the edification of the church, right? And uh, until we come to the unity of the faith, right, for the equipping of the saints, for the work of ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. Verse 13 says, the following verse, it says that till we all come to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to a perfect man, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. And that is the reason that Jesus gave these gifts for. Okay, He gave these gifts. Why? For us to become complete. Fullness of Christ. To the stature and the measure of his character. his character. For that he gave these gifts. Apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, teacher. These are gifts. Not titles that you may address anyone with. It's not a title that you have earned. No, no, no. It's not a promotion that you get. Some people say, uh, I began as a teacher. Now, after that I became a pastor, then now I am a prophet, I may become an apostle. He has a total messed up theology. It's not biblical at all, right? It's totally against the Bible because Jesus is the one who gave gifts. According to the gifts, he has given the grace to operate in the gifts, right? And many are called for these purposes. Right? And it is given for one purpose and one purpose only. Not to earn money. Not to do anything. Not to become famous and not to self-proclaim and go all over. These gifts are given for the edification of the body of Christ. The purpose being that you build the church, the saints, the people in the church, to the fullness of Christ. That's the idea. But these days we see... Mm -hmm. The biggest heresy that is happening right in front of us, where people call themselves these by these name, apostles, prophets, and all these pastors, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and, and, and these have become titles, 
and they think that they are somebody and when they are not. 